I'm going to take you into Billy Graham and I'm going to take you into a couple of thorny areas that you might bristle at, but yeah. we'll see how we go. All right. This Billy talks about after the Costa Zoo fight that the lunatics start taking over the asylum. Did you understand what it meant at the time or what he was referring to? Or, and do, or do you understand it better now? I think, you know, um, I think I think what he meant, what he means is probably, um, you know, and, and me ex touched on it. Yeah, there was, it started becoming more and more talks about money. You know, about, well, you were in that space money. now, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's everyone going to get paid. Cost you and I think Jamie Ward said it, you know, everyone's, you know, sees him as, you know, sees as a, and that as a commodity yeah. and stuff like that. And but I your think, dad described you that way. So yeah, I've got a diamond here, not yeah, a quartz. Yeah, yeah. And it's sort of like, that's how it went from, you know, we want to train and trying to be the best. Well, now we're the best. It's as if now we want as much money as we can. But, but you're a price you know, fighter. Yeah, you're a yeah, price fighter. Yeah, but we still want to be, <laughs> we still hang on a minute, you know what I mean? The money, you know, and it's like, and it's money, it does mean a lot of it. But I mean, the, you know, if, you, if you're successful, the money will come with the success. Of course. You've, and you've, you've got to look at it that way to remain to have the hunger. Mm. You know, because if, you know, the minute you start thinking, you know, I, I, I want to beat Costa Zoo, the minute you start thinking, oh, never mind Costa Zoo, I'm getting paid that much. Yeah. That's when it, and that's what I think Billy um, was referring was to. Refer, that's what I, I think, you know, I might, I, might be, I might be wrong, but I think that's what it. Think. But what's going on here? I mean, what's going on in this situation? There's so much rancor, you know, you've got, I've, I've got this mixed emotions about fathers and being involved in their sons' lives and their sporting careers. What's going on, Ricky? You, you, you know, you, your dad's getting involved without necessarily the expertise in the industry, and there are relationships that are breaking down that might have, that have been pivotal to you. Frank Warren's guidance has been pivotal to you to get you to a position where you trust his judgment. It took 38 fights to get a world title shot, and you're comfortable that he's done the right things for you. Billy Graham's been the intellectual capital behind your talent. But all of this is falling apart. What's happening here? It's very hard to say. It's, uh, the main thing is, is that, you know, when, <clears throat> you know, when, you know, no one's bothered when you know, there's, 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 there's pennies involved. But then when, you know, when, 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 when more comes involved, then, you know, when everyone has their own little bit to say. And I was always the one, I think, listen, you know, I mean, my me, me dad, me, you know, we were trusted wholeheartedly, you know. We, was he right? Is my dad. Was he right with the things he did at the time? When you look back, both of you now, because you're in a relationship which has well, been I think, I think I think I, I think I was I was the probably the guilty one in the sense that you know I'm, I'm my own man, you know what I mean, and I, and I should have had a little bit more interest in what was happening, you know, you know exactly in, was in my own. thought. So I'm not putting any blame, you know, I'm not not putting any blame on me on on, on anyone. On I'm turning around and saying if I could turn the clock back. And I could turn around and I just looked a little bit into what was happening in that that area, yeah. and then maybe would have saved would have, would have saved that. I mean, it shouldn't have happened anyway. Because I mean, listen, my job is to get on with me boxing. You do the training, you do the promoting, yeah, and, you and look after me finances. finances yeah. That that's all I'm bothered about. Yeah. And then when all this stuff come, you know, come come on, on board, yeah. I was like, you know, oh, what what do we do here? Yeah. What do what what do we do here? But it, wouldn't so, it have been the way without me telling you a business? Would it have been a better way to have done it with him. Well, it was like there's this. There's this, there's this uh, we get. We, we'll talk about Mayweather in isolation, but there was this moment that a legend has it said, and only you will know, that your dad came into the dressing room after the Mayweather loss and tore a sheet off. Yeah, yeah. Billy Graham. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't remember it. You don't remember. I mean, it. My, my head was. But did it happen? I believe so, yeah, yeah, yeah. My mates won't lie, and you know the thing is, my, my mates and my mates and my dad's mates and that, yeah. you know, what I mean, we're, we're all, you know, very, very close knit. And I think that was the most hard thing to come out of the documentary is that you know, now we was all so close, you yeah. know, it was like you know, it was all like a family. Whether it was the, whether it was Frank and Billy and and my dad and my mates and. Hattersley and the fans, you know, there was it was just, uh, and then all of a sudden I found myself in all this friction, whether it be with mm. Frank and my dad and Billy and this and that and all the rest of it, and I'd, I maybe I turned a blind eye to a, a lot of it. I didn't want to, you know, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to see. It. I thought just get on with your training, get on with your training. It will sort itself out and this like that. But like you say, if I could have turned the clock back, I think what I'd have done, I think I'd have just had a little bit more input to what was yeah. what was was going on. To be honest, with you. I mean, I'm my own my own man. I mean, and, and I should have done. Yeah. When when money comes into it, it's not that it's not that you Absolutely. don't trust who's handling it for you. Yeah. 
it's my, it's my money. I should have an Absolutely. interest in it. Well, you should and know I, what and it I was is. And I was a little bit bone idle in that <laughs> that area. Let's put it that way. And yeah. I think, you know, you know, everyone else would do still it. Shouldn't, still shouldn't have happened. Yeah. For, what, for whatever, who's at fault or whatever. But I, if I if I'd have had a little bit more interest, it maybe I could have stopped it. Did yeah. you have you lost any trust? Do you look back on it and think my trust was abused there by certain parties? Yeah, a little bit, but the, the, all, all I do know is um, look forward. Look forward. Everything, everything, you know, everything positive, you know, for me, you know, and that's, you know, and I think that's the way we've all got to look at, you know, whether, you know, life's too short, you know what I mean? Whether you're Frank Warren, whether you're Billy Graham, whether you're me, whether you're mum and dad, you know what I mean? I want, How did you end up in court? I want, though, the, I want the best. How uh, did you end up in court? How did it get to the point? Why was nobody around you saying, this is bastard stupid to be in court? This is, this is degrading for everybody, for you, for your father, for Billy Graham. Was there nothing that anyone could no, have said? No, me, me dad went in court against Billy. You know, you know, yeah. Billy claimed that I hadn't paid him for enough for the Mayweather fight. Yeah, and I, um, and it was an awkward, it's horrible position for me to to be in. But you know, I was, you know, me and my dad went went into court. You know, me and my dad. But me, the outcome of yeah, that was you found other stuff out that you didn't yes, know. Yes, me and my dad was against was against um, against Billy to be honest, which was 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 hard. But how did that? But but Bill, uh, but Ricky, I know you're not. I know you don't, I know you don't, I know you don't like this subject, but I've got to ask you because it's a part of your story. You've got this relationship with Billy Graham where you've eat, sleep, shit and fucked the life of boxing. You've trusted him to such a point that he can get you off a stall when you don't feel like it, when you think that everything's gone. How do you get to a point where you don't believe what he's saying? Because my dad's my dad. Blood's thicker. He's, well, he's my dad's my dad, you know, you know, he, you know, I, I, I love him. He's, my dad's my dad, you know, and he was handling my finances. And as much as I love Billy, you know, my dad's still my dad, you Plus know, blood. so, and, and it, but, but I mean, the top and bottom of it is to be put in a position, I was in that position because the way it was handled, you know, it put me in that position. Yeah. But I was with my dad. Yeah. It was me, me and my dad. Sadly, I'm sorry to say, up against me and Billy. Yeah. And the reason why, you know, we say you shouldn't have really been in that, you know, but Billy was right there, position. Wasn't he? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But they, they settled out of, out out of court, and I, I, I can't really comment to. Um, I don't want to know your money situation. I can't really comment to to too much on that. All it is is at the minute, I just want to be, you know, up you know, and onwards. Yeah, up and on for, for, for all of us. My up mom, and onwards. I've got listen. I've got. I have to ask you this stuff, otherwise, it's not a conversation. And if it's not, if it's a conversation around only the things that you like, then uh, then it's not a conversation. I, I'm not trying to be arsehole clever with you.